The curtain crunch is a great way to isolate the abdominals. We're particularly working the six pack muscle or the rectus abdominis that just runs down there through the front of the abs. Uh, now we're going to be using the upper cable on a cable crossover machine. I suggest using a single arm attachment because it's much easier to grip than using the rope, which is more traditionally used on the cable crunch. Okay, so grab, um, grab a single arm just like that. That's the easiest way to, to keep your grip on this because you will be doing quite a bit of weight. Come down onto your knees and have your arms down by the side. Have your, have your forearms next to your head so they're not going to move. Now, the trick with this exercise is to perform a crunch instead of a sit-up. I'll first show you a sit-up movement, which is like so. You'll see here that my back is remaining straight as it would in a sit-up. What we want to do though is perform a crunch so we're getting more ab recruitment. By doing the crunch, we keep our lower back straight as you would on a crunch, but we come forward performing more of a flexion through the spine. So we're bending the spine if you like. By doing that, you can see here I'm rounding my back, bringing my elbows towards my knees, and that way we're getting abs instead of the hip flexors that you would in a sit-up motion. Now breathe out, it's coming down. Come right down. Go for a bit of a pause down the bottom, then come right back up, straighten your back all the way, and then come back into a crunching motion. Keep it nice and slow and controlled on this one. Now this exercise will take a little bit of practice just to, to master that, that crunching motion rather than the sit-up motion. Um, as you fatigue, you're gonna start to perform more of a sit-up, but you've gotta be aware of that motion and try and force yourself to get that crunch for maximum abdominal recruitment.